Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is my Tasty Treat School Treats bag, and it's a bag for a boy. I have four sons, if you don't know this already. This, I have four sons who are aged 14 down to six, and they love me giving them little treats and stuff like that, and they also like it when I package up their gifts prettily. So I decided to make a project with my boys in mind. So I've got this lovely paper. So the Tasty Treats designer paper is absolutely stunning and it's got all of the ice creams, but then it's got this one particular paper, which is kind of a bit overlooked. So I decided I was gonna use it. And I'm gonna use it again, except I'm going to do it the other way around. So it's going to be a pool party bag with a brown top. So I'm gonna to have to make sure that I get my stripes the right way around. So the finish size of the box, eight inches by three and three quarters by two inches, which is 20 centimeters by nine and a half by five. Fabulous size bag. Oh, don't put it down on your stylus because it will fall over. Right, let's get these. Let's hope that I get the measurements, the right, the stripes the right way around. Okay, I have, I want my stripes to fold over like that. Yes, that is the way around. Brain's not working. So 12 by 12 inches, 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimetres. Score it on the first side at two inches, five and three quarters, seven and three quarters, and 11 and a half inches. In metric, that is five, 14 and a half, 23 and a half, 28 and a half centimetres. Then turn it round and score it at two inches, which is five centimetres and then turn it over and score it at 10 inches, which is 25 centimetres. And the reason I've done that is because I want it to fold over, but I don't want it to crack along the top, which it would do. So, let's move my, stylus, my scoring board out of the way. So the first thing I want to do is get these folds going. So I'm gonna fold this one that is the wrong way. I've done it again. No, I haven't. No, that is right. <laughs> I'm folding my own score lines the wrong way around. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, can you? So, these ones where you've just done two score lines, one goes in one direction and one goes in the other, that's what's just thrown me. I've just thought, well, that's what it looked like before. But we're working on this one. So, the reason I folded that top part over was so that I could fold it all together. Just take my bracelet away for a second. And the final one is over here. Now, let me slide this bit off and find the seam for you. It is entirely up to you whether you keep this bit, which is the top, and fold it over or not. I left it in on here, so I've got the extra layers. I'm going to trim it off on this one that I'm making for you now. So, basically unfold it and get rid of the thin, skinny rectangles on both ends. so this is the top one so you don't need to do any cutting along there but down at the bottom I'm going to take that skinny one away take everything skinny away okay so it's like that and then I'm going to cut up these three remaining score lines so just cut straight up them to the horizontal line. So that's what you're left with. That's when it's unfolded. So these are all attached and you've got a wedge cut away. This one you've got a wedge cut away and these have all been separated. So that's gonna fold around to the bottom. So the first thing you need to do is get this glued down. So grab your fast fuse and apparently a random bit of paper. And fold it down and just run over with your bone folder. Fast fuse down here. Uh, 
and that will tuck away and <coughs> excuse me this now becomes the back oh I think I want a little glue dot under there don't like bits gaping so didn't put enough fuse in so that's better so this is now the back so you fold in two sides and the back and then fast fuse along here and then when you pinch in all of this gently run your fingers down the sides and it will flow in nicely okay right I need some pegs that I had and I have moved I don't know what I've done with them I want a peg to clip it shut I've lost them. Oh, I know what I've done with them. I'll have to grab another one. I just want to anchor this shut so I can get the ribbon around so these pegs will do nicely. These are from my diary. Right, and so, let's get this ribbon back on here. It's pool party ribbon. Now, we don't have an early espresso ribbon, um, which would match the bottom, of, the bottom half of the box, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go again with some more pool party. I don't have to do everything opposite. So those pegs on the top will, they do make a difference. They really help when you're tying those. And obviously you'd put your gifts inside first. that marvelous right okay so I've got my panels already cut and again I went with pool party to go at the opposite so I'm doing the same again so this one is uh, three and a quarter inches square eight centimeters so eight by eight and this one's three by three so seven and a half by seven and a half and the the country set is one of these uh, two-step stamps so the first thing I want to do is select my lolly top um, I think I think I'm going to stick with the same, but you could go, actually, I might take a bite out of this one. So I have this one with a little bite out of it and my C block. And I'm going to come in with pool party ink. And stamp it. Let's clean that up. I'll put my stamping scrub off to one side, so, so you clean up as you go. back on there and then I, I'm taking this one if, if anybody remembers the old orange mivy it's a bit like that and when you stamp the same color over itself you get a darker tone which is what's happening there and I want the stick so I'm going to take this stick I think that's probably a bit too big but do not worry crumb cake because when I first did this, the early espresso was just a bit too dark. So there's my little stick. And I want to put some Winkle Stella over the lollipop, the ice lolly. And I need to grab that. That's the right one. So this is my clear one. Oh, I'm taking a wrong end off. And apparently I'm running out of it. Oh. <laughs> that was not meant to happen. Okay. Um, love a live blooper, don't you? We are going to fix this. Oh, we can't fix that one. Right. Let's cut a bit of three by three inch Whisper My Card stock here and now. Oh, hang on, I've got a small bit. <laughs> that was not meant to happen but at least the next time I do it it will be the wink of Stella will be nicely pied okay let's come back in with my blocks so it's, oh, you know what I'm not going to take a bite out of this <laughs> I 
posted on Facebook that I was filming and I had two and a half hours before the children came home from school. How many do you reckon I'm going to get done in this time? And somebody said, it's filming's no problem. It's the editing that takes time. Tracy, I don't edit. Here would be the proof. I don't edit. Okay. But I can fix anything. Not that, however. And finally, let's try this again. Let's get our little stick. And then, let's have a go with this. <laughs> it's Wink of Stella. Where was that one I dealt with before? I've lost it, flung it across the room. At least it's nice and shiny now, so I can get a decent glitter across. And you know what, after all this, but you're probably not going to be able to see it. So I hope that's super shiny for you. And then let me just deal with that one. And then I can do the final bit of stamping, which is the word across the center, which says, I hope your day is as sweet as you are. How lovely is that? That's this great long one. So I need a super long block so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And this piece measures oh, three quarters of an inch by three and a half, um, which is two by nine centimetres. And you're probably thinking I'm nuts to have such a big block, but the one that's a bit shorter than this, you can't actually see through very well. So. And I say you can't see through it, it's all just a bit too close on the edges. Um, oh, actually, no, that one is fine thrown myself completely here today, haven't I? Ah, oh, right. Now I can't find a snail. There we go. So that onto there. I've got my little metal rim pearls. And they've got sticky on the back and they've already got the hole they've already got a hole in them for you to pick out the, pick off the uh, backing, if you can keep hold of them. I seem to have run out of the smallest size. No, I'll have to have two small and one big. Uh, the, yeah, oh, maybe it's the medium size I've run out of. Talk about thrown off course. So into roughly sort of halfway down the middle. And I'm going to take some dimensionals on the back of this because I want it lifted up and set off a bit. But with some nice little cheats in. My boys are going to love these. It means I've got to make two more. What do you think? Oh, the sunshine. The sun's come out. Oh, that's lovely, but it's changed all the colour of it. Beautiful pool party that's kind of now looking mint macaron. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon.